Now that you already have the knowledge on how to generate your traffic to your profile, do you know that finding a freelancer to work with you is something to learn too? As you know, there are loads of freelancers out there who are willing to work, but are they all qualified for you? This is an important question to ask because you don't want to hire them without knowing them. The quality of your freelancer is equal to the quality of your product at the end of the day. So, how can you approach your freelance to work for you with Quality Assured? Let's get started. Nowadays, people can't live without the internet and their social media account. They will keep browsing and scrolling through to kill time. As I've mentioned in the previous section, social media is a good engine for you to gain traffic as well as for you to recruit. For people who are more and more internet oriented, it is easier for you to get what you want. You could filter your friends list according to your recruitment needs. Use filter software like Manage Filter to speed up your findings so you could double up your work. Also, there are groups and pages for freelance jobs on Facebook. Join them to see if there's any talent who matches your need. Or you could post your need in the group to recruit your potential freelancers. In case you're not an active person on social media, there is another way to find potential freelancers using freelancer websites. There are several sites for you to choose from. Examples are Agent Solo, All Freelance Work, and Upwork. You can filter them accordingly with your location, fields, and patterns. Find websites with responsive admins and freelancers. This is because if you encounter any problems, you will at least know who to turn to. Before you go into the website, make sure you understand their terms, policies, and conditions, especially on credit transferring and refunding issues. Establish a clear communication with the support and read their website policies before you start to use their freelancers. Now you have a picture on how to recruit your talents. It's time to determine your strategies on how to ensure your freelancer's quality. Allow me to ask you a few questions. If you're a buyer, how would you go about choosing a freelancer to work for you? What kind of products would you expect from your talent that you have hired? If you make a bad choice, it will affect the balance between you and your buyer, which creates bad feelings. I'm sure you know where bad feelings can lead your business to. Thus, to avoid all these from happening, you will need a good plan and some strategies before you get into the recruitment business. First, recruit wisely. You need to know who you are working with. Get to know your freelancer from their profile and description. If there is no description, try to look for their contact. Message them directly to ask for their background and experience, or try searching for their social media accounts. Did you know that you can see a person's character from their social media behavior? It is even better if the person shares their work in public on social media. You can then preview their job for free. For example, you chance upon a photographer who shares his work publicly on his Instagram account. You can direct message him from your Instagram if you're interested in his work. Just like your buyers choose you for your good reviews, you choose your talent with good reviews too. As I said earlier, who doesn't want to work with the better person? Collect all their profiles and reviews. You can narrow them down to 5 or 10 according to your business and how much you can manage. This is something that you can't rush through, so take it one step at a time. Read and determine their abilities carefully before you finally hire them. Furthermore, revising the work done is essential to you. Remember, you need to make sure the quality matches your buyer's expectation and also your own reputation. Otherwise, buyers may doubt your ability and also the reviews you get. This is why the talent you hire plays an important role in keeping you as a successful broker. You need to be strict on the quality. Despite telling your talent what it is your buyer needs, I would suggest you to revise the work done before delivering it to your buyer. It is always good to double and triple check to assure the quality and correct any mistakes. Since they have already done most of the work for you, there is nothing to lose in spending some time to double check their work. Also, by revising the work done, you're able to have a deeper understanding on which freelancer is worth to work with, and you may even consider a long-term buyer-seller relationship. In order to have time to revise their job, you will need to speed up the exchange. It is not just about the issue on checking, but also to avoid delayed deliveries to your own buyer. For example, you promise your buyer a 7-day period to complete your job, so you have to request a 5-day job done from your talent. Give yourself at least 2 days to review the job if you have a couple of businesses going on. 
Schedule yourself to check on the working process from time to time so that you can give some advice if the working process is slow or if your talent meets some problems which he's not able to resolve himself. Do not hesitate to help your talent. A little help from you may mean a lot to them. It is not just about saving you from the hassle of late deliveries, but also to build up your reputation amongst them to earn their loyalty.